first, though, let's run through the next-gen stats for the Chargers in that first half. And it was a tricky half to figure out numbers-wise. They've got the lead, but you'd figure they're definitely talking about ways to get this passing game back on track. It'll be the Broncos getting the football first in this second half as they trail, and we are back underway. Taking it about the one. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. And the Bronco offense ready to begin this third quarter play. It's been a tight game to this point. What do they need to do, Charles, to break through in the second half and take the lead? Well, I think the first thing they need to do is thank their defense for keeping them in this game. And, you know, I think the defense is saying back to them, why don't you guys focus on getting some first downs, put some drives together, give us a little bit of a break here. If we can get some rest, we'll play even better for you. And, oh, by the way, pay off a few of those drives with some points, too. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. To throw is Elway. Oh, he'll take a shot for McCaffrey downfield. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. On third down, Elway. Over the middle, Sharp's got it complete. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. He shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. Yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Here we go. What a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Now whale throw. He gets it left side to Johnson. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I know many people like the throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. 
on second down. It's Davis, and he'll be stopped up at the line of scrimmage with a flag down. Let's check on the call. Get out of here, man. So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Here's Elway to throw. He's got his man sharp, complete. And able to use his stiff arm for a little bit of leverage before he's taken down. A pretty good game. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now you can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Again, it's Elway. And this one complete to Smith. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. We got three, we got three. The first down carry for Davis. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Joey Bosa so strong, able to fight his way in there to make the play. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Now it's Elway. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Hands it off out of the gun. Down right around the 25. It's Melvin Ingram on the tackle. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Here's Elway. Fighting McCaffrey on the slant. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 14. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. It's first and 10 at the 14. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Gets a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. From the gun, it's Elway. His throw incomplete. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now, there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now Elway to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. 
So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. A field goal try forthcoming now for the Broncos. And his kick is good. And that will cut the lead down to just two. So a decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvaged three out of it, but they inch a bit closer. Yeah, but still lots of time to go in this one. That's why you hear that clapping on the sidelines, <laughs> right? Hey, got some points. As you said, inching their way back in. Time left to go out and get that victory. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Now we'll look at the Chargers' offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, You've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. They'll run on first down. Means, and he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. Means. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. The third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Complete. Jefferson the target. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. I know where we're headed on this. Terrific catch. Gets his feet down. Sets up a fourth down in short situation. But I bet we're wondering, why didn't he get to the first down marker running his route? Am I correct? You got to know where the marker is, right? Got to figure it out. I know every receiver has taught that. Sometimes circumstances change it. At least they have an opportunity to make a decision with not much yardage to go. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Love the play call that time. Love the design. You put three tight ends on the field. That screams jumbo set, running formation to a defense, right? No, they go play action, and defense gets confused for just a split second. And next thing you know, completion for good yardage. Let's go, boy. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now to Denver. It's been a good one so far, just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Elway. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Oh, 
An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Elway. Looking long for Thomas. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Tried to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. The Broncos on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and ten. From the shotgun, Elway. Looking here for Smith downfield. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. A big play there. 66 yards. And the Broncos have retaken the lead. They try it here for the extra point. And the lead is up to five. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it ends with a Denver touchdown. it away and off it goes. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he doesn't even get this to the 10. He's taken down at the 9. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. across the 25 before being tackled. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up the first down there and for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Now Fouts. And his throw here is incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Fouts. And get this one complete to Winslow. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Fouts. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Here's second and a yard. To throw his bounce. 
Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. This one caught by Winslow. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. And as a former defender, I can tell you with certainty, those are the ones that have you losing sleep at night. I would not like to be in that film room on Tuesday going over that one. Just a pretty poor effort defensively, and it leads to a big play. Again, he'll drop to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Four yards remain for second down. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Means. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. This is a second and four, ball at the nine. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers have once again taken the lead. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here. And they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. So now an extra point doesn't help much. They'll try to go for two to make the difference a field goal, and they can lead it by three. They'll look to throw. And no, incomplete. They can't convert. So they try to bump the lead up to a field goal. Instead, it stays at one here in the fourth. team on the field now as they will send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. So the Broncos now down by one. At time, a huge factor. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning as they've got it first and ten. Oh, 
throwing now. Elway on first down. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. Got to be wary of throwing an interception here because the defense knows they're going to get tested deep. That's why they're going to put a couple of extra guys back there to try and prevent that. Yeah, late in the fourth quarter here, trying to preserve the lead. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Out of the gun, Elway. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. This defense looking impenetrable now. Three straight incompletions. They're giving them nowhere to go with the football. Maybe a little frustrated back there? Oh, there's no doubt about it. When you've missed on three straight, there's going to be some frustration. But now he's got to make sure that that frustration is temporary, not lingering. Big throw coming up. He's going to let it fly. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. And the throw took him beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. So now it may look bleak, but this one not over. They do have all three timeouts. Even at this point on the field, where it looks like, I mean, you're, you're really backed up, hold them to a field goal. That's the mantra right now. You hold them to a field goal, you still got a chance to take care of business on the other end. But you're right, the three timeouts are going to be key. How well they use them to preserve clock as well as stopping them, that's the key to giving them a chance to win. On first down, Means and a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Yeah, now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Keep it on the ground. Means. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Let's go. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. run not the one that's going to break for big yardage but he understands the situation and taking care of the football paramount and he got it done nursing that slim lead you're exactly right hold on to that ball a lot of tired bodies on that field but this is a big play third and goal fouls to throw throwing for his running back and he's got it complete and he'll be brought down this time at the five yard line They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone, covered. No points to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming from the right hash here. Should be an easy one. 
And his kick is indeed good. And that'll move their lead up to four now. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken in at the three. Let's go, baby. So some drama down to the very end of this ball game, Charles, on that final kickoff. They were hoping to break free, some sort of miracle play, but they couldn't do it. They had a chance.